Hello, hello! It is time for another ironclad run. Ascension 20, slay the spire. Let's go. Act 1, Exordium. Another try. We have um, choices. We can obtain a random rare card, obtain 100 gold, use 7 max HP to remove 2 cards. Our boss in Act 1 is the Guardian. We can fight a maximum of 3 elite combats. We can even get a rest in first, have an elite, then have another two campfires, and then have two more elites. Beautiful. Um, we could take 100 gold and go to a shop right here. We could lose 7 max HP to remove two cards. Get some strikes out of our deck, that'll be helpful versus Guardian, but less helpful in the Elite's path that we're taking. It does mean that our upgrades will, that we get will be more relevant, because we will be drawing the upgraded cards more. Yeah, I think I actually do like the remove two here. We can get some attacks in our deck that are better than strikes in some of these hallway fights in here. Good to have about three hallway fights before your first elite, so you uh, can get some cards added into your deck and not have the advanced hallway fights. So I am going to remove two strikes. Okay, let's think a little bit, because we could kill the guy that will weaken us, or we can attack the guy that's frail. Um, if we do um, bash strike on this guy, he goes down to 12, and our strikes do 6 each, so we'd probably have lethal on him. And that honestly makes a lot more sense than uh, killing this guy, unless we don't draw another strike, which is possible given that we have one draw for it. Bash Strike also works, but we take a little bit. Nah, this makes, this makes sense to me. All right, so we didn't get the strike, unfortunately, but we can bash and only take four. We'll heal up to full anyway with Burning Blood. Doesn't matter so much. Probably every line we took just didn't matter because of that. Alright, 16 gold, a fire potion, which is excellent. Get some early damage. Um, sentries, that will be huge. Gremlin knob, that will be huge. Means that we don't need to be as greedy with um, adding attacks to our deck. However, there is an uppercut being offered here. Uppercut is excellent, and we can't even upgrade it before the Elite here. Applies the upgraded, adds additional weak and an additional vulnerable. I really like our Uppercut in the beginning of Act 1. And because of the weakness, it still scales well into late game. The Inflame is also worth considering, but we did remove two of our strikes, so it doesn't upgrade as many of our cards. I love this Uppercut. Yeah, so Uppercut does one-shot this guy, and then we would take two damage. We have Burning Blood, so taking two is completely acceptable. A hey, Block Potion! We're just killing it with the potions! A choice between Anger, Pommel Strike, and Rampage? Oh my. 
You know how much I love anger. Um, anger is definitely less good versus Guardian, though. You don't really want to be shuffling in as many angers into your deck in that fight. The Rampage could be really strong, since we removed two of our cards already. Rampage might actually be the pick here. It's like way better against Guardian. And we have potions for the fights coming up, so... Well, normally I don't really like Rampage, but since we already removed two... Um, and it is super early in the game. And we are facing Guardian. Rampage might, might really pay off. Obtain a golden idol. Trigger a trap. As you grab the idol and stow it away, a giant boulder smashes through the ceiling into the ground next to you. You realize that the floor is slanted downwards as the boulder starts to roll towards you can become cursed, which I would absolutely not like here. You can either lose 6 max HP or take 23 damage. One thing to note is that if we take the damage, we can pop some potential for healing with burning blood at the end of this fight. And so given that possible for healing 6, and the fact that losing max HP also loses us current HP, I think the, the smash here makes a lot of sense. We just take the 23 and we save our max HP for next act. Yeah, we have two potions, we'll be fine. You throw the self at the boulder with everything you have. When the dust clears, you can make a safe way out. Do we even want to consider extra hallway fight here? Nah, because the hallway fight is advanced and we might take more damage than we would heal. Oh, look at that! We can pay 35 gold to heal for 17. Or we can pay 75, card, 75 gold to remove a card from our deck. Do we ever um, just remove ourselves down to like a like an infinite or like playing rampage like nearly every turn? Could remove yet another strike. Hmm, this is an interesting choice. We're not planning on going to a shop, are we? So it's really whether we'd have 17 HP or whether we'd rather remove a card. For Scanlan Knob, we have Fire Potion and Block Potion. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll be fine. Right, 45. We can even rest here. We'll just be fine. We don't need the heal, I don't think. Do we remove yet another strike? I'm honestly down. Remove third strike. Just a jaw worm. Jaw worm never hurt anyone. We do have a choice though, because we could triple defend. Yeah, I think that's the play. Take no damage this turn, start scaling up Rampage. Oh, now he's hitting us for 17. Oh, we triple defend again. Okay, we've taken two damage total, so this so far this fight. All right, that's the best we could have done. Um, fourteen gold and a choice of intimidate, dark embrace, or chemokinesis. Hmm. Intimidate is going to be a little bit worse if we have weakness from uppercut, because the weakness won't stack. Hemokinesis is good though. It's a nice one energy attack to do after we play Uppercut. I'm okay with one Hemokinesis. It's really good damage. 
We just skip the Intimidate and the Dark Embrace. Dark Embrace doesn't make so much sense. It's kind of a curse. Intimidate. Just a little bit redundant given that we'll be upgrading Uppercut. Yeah. Yeah, Hemokinesis is, is going to save us some life, and I don't think it's going to be that bad to have in our deck. Upgrade the Uppercut for that sweet extra weak and extra vulnerable. Ooh, it is the Knob. Uppercut turn one is excellent. I wonder how long it will take us to kill. Next turn, he is not vulnerable, but we do have Bash. Um, I mean, we're never using Block Potion for six life, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uppercut is 13 and Strike is nine. That would be um, 22, right? 13 and nine. Yeah, too bad we didn't draw one of these cards. Yeah, I mean, we can fire potion. No need to take a hit here. Um, yeah, that's fine. Could use the fire potion. Oh, it's an aura calcum at the end of your turn. If you end your turn without block, gain six block. That's huge. Now a choice between shockwave, evolve, and twin strike. Evolve will be really good against sentries. Since our deck is so small, sentries are really making us sad. Shockwave is less important given that we have the uppercut. And already upgraded too. I actually like Evolve here. Because sentries could mess us up. We do have Orichalcum versus sentries though. Orichalcum just crushes sentries. So maybe we don't need it. But do we want it in our deck for eventually? Yeah, I think we do. Eh. I mean, it doesn't do much versus Guardian, but... Gives our deck some kind of resilience and we can take power through. Okay, yeah, this is an interesting choice. I, I don't I don't really know if it's correct or not to take it here. The thing is we're not we're guaranteed to have not Gremlin Knob for here. And it's obviously not so bad versus the goblin because you just play before it wakes up and versus sentry as we mentioned, it's good. And now we can upgrade. This upgrades to deal more the second time you play it. Not super huge fan of. This is just five extra damage, yeah. Okay, I think of the hemokinesis then. Tiny chest. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. This is one that I'm not a huge fan of. I might go for the sapphire key. We can fight two elites. Yeah, we have 47, 59. That's plenty of life. We can even upgrade the rampage, I guess, now. Oh, a shop. Ooh. There's some stuff here. There is a double tap for 162 gold. We can double tap our rampage or our hemokinesis. 
Bludgeon I don't think we need. It is on sale. Dark Shackles, obviously good. Um, hard remove. Could remove yet another strike. Go for the, the Rampage Dream. Rampage Dream is good damage. I think this double tap is so good though. We don't have any blocks, but we have our Calcum. We'll probably be using this a lot. Dark Shackles is... I mean, it's good. Metallicized Potion solves Guardian Fight. But I think we're okay versus Guardian fight. Or are we? I think we are. Ah. Well, I don't think we need 108 gold for Metallicize versus Guardian. I mean, we don't have block cards, but we can play defense. I think it's either card remove or double tap here. I can really make progress on get, making a small deck. It's fun. I haven't done a small ironclad deck in a long time. I think Double Tapper is really good with the Rampage. Okay. Okay, we can get our Evolve in play hopefully this turn before he wakes up. Or we cannot. Sad. Now we wake him up this turn. Uppercut Rampage. We'll be weakened for next turn. We're also gaining six, so... You can just take a hit for nine. Be completely fine. No need to spend energy defending, I'd say. And yeah, so this is dealing 19. If we double tap it, take another 9. Yeah. I mean, can we do better? Like, how much is Rampage doing? It's dealing 24. If we draw it next turn, then that's 36. What if we don't draw it next turn? Hmm. So this is a question of like saving for life by doing defend, defend, strike. No, it doesn't save life. No, it just doesn't. No, this just always happens. The only question is if we block potion here. That saves us six life. Six life is not enough from a block potion. Boom. Heal ticket. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 15. That's excellent sustain. And Juggernaut is an option for card reward. Whenever you gain block, deal five to a random enemy. How often do we gain block? Well, we do have our Calcum. So even if we don't need block, we'll be gaining block. 
I don't really know if we want another curse versus guardian, though. I mean, it's not a curse. It's just... It's just not in a... It's just not a block card. I don't really see us having time to play this that easily versus Guardian, though, because turn one, we're going to want to be going for the phase shift. And we have damage from our Rampage. We don't need Juggernaut. We also do not want the other two cards, so I think this might be a skip. It's sad to skip a yellow card, but I think Juggernaut is not this deck, unfortunately. Our friend, the Blue Slaver. Okay, so now we probably... Or a Chalcom. Bash Rampage or Double Tap Rampage. Probably Double Tap Rampage. Such a good combo. And then we take two, and I don't think we need to Hemokinesis. I think we'll probably have lethal next turn. Nine and six is only fifteen. Dang. Oh. I should have hemokinesis. Another block potion. Excellent, excellent. And armaments. Don't really think we want an armaments, although it is a block card. We can start upgrading our defense. Don't want an evolve or a pummel. Um, how good is the armaments? Seems not that good. Thing is, we can upgrade our defense. Which could be huge versus Guardian, but... Okay. Guess upgrading our defense is good in some fights. Most of our deck's gonna become upgraded, and it's just gonna be a really bad card. Except for the defense. The defense won't get upgraded because we still want transform targets. And we do need another block card, I guess it's up I guess it's fine. First Guardian, having one more block card might go a little bit. So be it. It's the knob once more. Or Calcum so good versus knob. Maybe we'll even have lethal next turn. Heck yes we do. Beautiful. Took four damage that fight. Then healed six with burning blood. Potion bell to accommodate our extra potion. Bloodletting says lose three HP, gain two mana. Iron wave says gain five block, deal five damage. And uh, we do need better ways to gain block because we don't have enough. But I don't know. We don't really want the bloodletting here. So what about the iron wave, huh? We can double tap it to gain 10 block and 10 damage, deal 10 damage. Yeah, I mean, it's a block card that scales with double tap. That can't be bad, right? We can even upgrade it at the next uh, upgrade. Well, we should probably upgrade armaments.
I mean, there will be better block cards. I think it's good, actually. And what do we want to upgrade here? The armaments, so that we can upgrade all of our defense faster versus Guardian. Guess that makes sense to me. Alright, we're taking the big hit, I guess. Yep, we're taking the big hit for 36. Double tap rampage is uh, 8 and 16 is 24. We could also strike for 30. We could flex for 45, but he's at 49. There's like no point. Should we use the potions? Should we save them until we absolutely need them? Okay, I mean, double tap rampage is just good to do. Um. I think. I think we use one potion and defend here. And then we try to hold on to the other for after the fight. This is fine, we don't need to lose 2 HP here. Unfortunately, we still will be weak and vulnerable next turn. We can block. Okay, the weakened thing wears off. Armaments bash. Yeah. Oh, but it just didn't work well with this. Maybe we should use the other person. Yeah, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. I need to be thinking more. After this turn, I'll, I'll try to think a little bit more. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, I, uh, maybe I maybe I didn't need to use both of those potions in this fight, but at least I should make sure that I don't die here. Okay, so this is always happening, right? Uppercut for weakness for next turn. Okay, so one option is Armaments, Defend, Strike. We deal 9. I guess the other option is um, Defend, Bash. Don't really think we need the extra Vulnerable though. Next turn we can play all our Defends. I'm scared. Hmm. 
We take 4 to deal 48. Next turn, we'll be at 12 and he'll be attacking us for 20. And we don't have a lot of block. The weekend will reduce it to 3 times 4. So if we draw uppercut and either defend our armaments, we'll be alive. Oh wait, we have our Kalkum. So we'll just probably be alive. We can deal 48. We cannot deal 48. Um, We do what we do so that we're not dead. Um, okay, so obviously Rampage is going to be lethal. So we just need to account for the time in which we don't get Rampage. Maybe I should have flexed Potion this turn. I mean, I still can, technically. We'll deal 37. Goes to 15, goes to 24. No, we can flex potion next turn. But we should hemokinesis because we're not blocking the big hit. Wait. We strike. 21. 30. Yeah, yeah we should hemokinesis. Okay, okay. That was not a clean fight. Uh, I think I could have thought more to do better, but we lived. Guess what? There's a feed. There's also a limit break, but we don't have any strength. Doesn't feel like we need strength either. Okay, Fusion Hammer. Guess what? We have an Armaments Plus. We can upgrade all our cards anyway. Fusion Hammer says gain mana at the start of your turn. You can no longer smith at rest sites. Sacred Bark. Double effectiveness of potions. It's alright, given that we have Potion Belt, but not really that into it. I much prefer the extra energy here. Excuse me. Yeah, I think Fusion Hammer is great. It makes me feel so happy about adding the Armaments to our deck, too. And upgrading it. Back to the city. Alrighty. Our boss is the Collector. Can fight a maximum of three Elites. Keep in mind our rest sites right now are just resting for HP. Question marks in Act 2 are generally pretty good. Early spicy elite might be a bit questionable. Our deck doesn't really have a lot of good AoE damage. So like slavers we kill them one by one, gremlins we kill them one by one. 
Look of stabbing is gonna be extremely painful. And why do I feel like our deck is trash? Yeah, I mean, we just, we don't really gain a lot of block, do we? I mean, we have our Calcum. We have our Burning Blood, we have our Meal Ticket. Um, we might actually want to rest after having our first Elite. I think this path makes a whole lot of sense. Actually, wait, does it? Yeah. Well... We give up two question marks to fight an elite. And we should at least go up to here and see, see from there. Or we could go on this path, but seems harder. This one has more flexibility also. Evolve is very good in this fight. Excellent to have that on turn one. Hex. Weakened. We're only taking three damage. We can take an extra two damage if we want to deal 30. Um... Two damage to deal 30? I feel like that's a good deal. We might be going for a Kel next turn. Okay, so what's the math looking like right now? 12. I mean, this always gets played. Well, I guess I'm not, because we might be blocking with our Calcum. Okay. Twelve. Thirteen. Is... Twenty-five. Oh, I forget what feed upgrade it is. We can check. Twelve damage. Okay. Twelve damage. Um... So that'll be 18. So 25 and 18 is 43. That's enough. Yum yum, plus four max HP. Excellent fight, excellent fight. Her in a bottle goes very well with potion belt. You can just chill here for the rest of the game and uh, if we ever die, we will not die. Makes me feel better about fighting the harder paths. There is a flame barrier. We have fusion hammer, so we kind of have the energy for it, honestly. I like this flame barrier. It gains us block. And gaining block is something we do want to be doing. Hmm. I think we can afford a flame barrier. Flame barrier is good versus Book of Stabbing, right? Oh, it's also good versus this fight. Easy. Perfect turn one, just because we drew Flame Barrier. Can you even feed on this guy? 
Our moments first, so we gain more max HP. Dealing two damage. Hmm. I don't really think we need to hemokinesis this fight though. Uh, three times six. You would, wouldn't you? Maybe take one damage, it's fine. Speed potion! Gain five dexterity at the end of your turn, lose five dexterity. Twin strike plus is one mana deal 14, but we don't need more attacks. In fact, our attacks are already quite potent. True grit, we can exhaust down to an infinite. Um, but what infinite? Dropkick infinite? I do like the idea of exhausting some cards, but... Your deck's already pretty small. I guess that makes exhausting even better. could wait for a true grip plus that might get offered in a card reward. It's not doing much for us right now. Alright, we don't need a heal, so let's add a card. Another double tap. How does that double how does double tap stack with itself? I think it just increases the amount of cards that are dealt twice. Which is not really what we're looking for. I see a shrug it off. I do see a body slam. But probably not. I mean, sugar off is good. So, at a minimum, we're getting a sugar off. But can we do better? I don't really think two double taps is the move here. I also don't really like anything else, except for like Ghostly and True Grip, but... Shrug seems better than both of those, so... Sounds good to me. The story is about an insect-controlling teenage girl who aspires to become a hero. The book is filled with creative uses of powers, combat strategies, and varying perspectives. Satisfying. Has anyone read Worm? Web Serial by... Big J.C. McRae. This is 
A reference to Worm. I love Worm. It's a great story about superheroes. You come upon a dapper looking cheery gremlin. It's time to spin the wheel. Are you ready? Of course you are. Please no curse, 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 please no curse. Card remove. Choose a card to remove from your deck. I'd love to. Dang. Goodbye, strike. Hmm. This might be nasty. Hey, Mount Bunk. Welcome. I am back streaming. We have a Iron Clawed run here. Barely survived Guardian. Um, we're doing Rampage stuff. We removed a lot of our strikes already. We have a double tap. We have a feed now. And I'm trying to add some more blocking cards into our deck. We did have an Aura Calcum that we were using occasionally for a while. Your deck is quite small. Yeah, so I took I took Remove 2 from Niao. Um, and then I removed some strikes. And we removed, we just removed a strike from the, from the Spin the Wheel event actually. Which was pretty fun. So here, though, we do have to gain our block with Oracalcum. At least we can weaken it. Yeah, we'll be taking some damage. So we do double tap Oracalcum. I mean, double tap Uppercut. And then this will be 9 and 13, 22. There's no really reason to use a Flex Potion here. We take 12. Ouch. And then we take some more. Uh, yeah. So how much damage would we do total? 9, 9, 6, 18, 24. Yeah, that's not lethal with Flex Potion because he's, uh... He's gaining block, unfortunately. Yeah, so we take another 12. Something I can't really see a way around it. At least we can set up feed. Please draw feed. Thank you. Thank you. Plus three max HP. Beautiful. All right. Time to sub out one of these completely useless potions. None of them were saving us HP that fight. But maybe energy potion will save us something at some point? Probably will. Yeah, elixir, no, no thanks. No thank you, elixir. We don't need more weakness. We already have our uppercut. Don't really want a pommel strike either. Don't really want an infernal blade either. So we can get some meal ticket value if we go to the shop right now. Um, then we could fight an elite. And then maybe head over to this elite. 
do have some hallways, but yeah, I mean, like two events are pretty good. We could also try to consider, you know, going around this ways. But elites are probably better than events, so get the guaranteed relic and. Yeah, I think so. Alrighty, we have a bronze skill. Start each combat with three thorns. Pretty good amount of damage versus the heart. And we have Nunchako. Every time you play 10 attacks, gain an energy. Pretty infrequent for us to gain energy with this. Hand drill, whenever you break an enemy's block, apply two vulnerable. That one's going to be a nope. Just though Chaos Potion is pretty good, but we already have Max Potions and maybe they'll be useful. Don't want Panache. Don't really want any of these either. So we card remove and Bronze Scales. guess. Can't really think of anything else that we want at all in this shop. All of our strikes are gone. Elite! It is the dreaded slavers. They are coming for us. Good to make him weak. Are we energy potioning this turn? Might be a good turn to energy potion. Especially because we want to be using a potion anyway. I like the energy. Question is also, are we using speed? We have eight... Uh, 20, 25, nah. Well, okay, wait, 20, 25. Could save us potentially up to nine life. Yeah, uh, I don't think we're going to do it. We have plenty of... Five life, or we're getting Rampage played. I think we should really get our Rampage played here. Okay, we take a hit for 10. Well, armaments will let the feed kill. Perfect. So good, so good, so good, so good, so good. Got the feed upgraded, so we got four max HP. Uh, and we got our exact lethal with the kill. The evolve is gonna be good because we have a lot of wounds. This is 100% getting played. This is useless because we have our Calcum block. We can double tap Bash. Or we can Bash Hemokinesis. Might be a little bit better. Take the damage.
And do we need to hemokinesis? I feel like not, but I could be wrong. Okay, so uh, Iron Wave and Defend is a full block. So we could bash Iron Wave Defend. Alrighty. 27 gold, an ornamental fan. Every time you play three attacks on a single turn, gain four block. Could be good with double tap sometimes. Kind of bad with Orichalcum though. Like usually, sometimes Ornamental Fan kind of makes it worse. Yeah, this is a pretty bad relic. This is this is unfortunate. Yay, more attacks. Kappa. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a bad relic. This barely does anything. Yeah, we don't want more attacks though. We have good attacks. We have our Rampage plus, we have our Uppercut plus, we have our Hemokinesis plus. We don't need anything else. We're drawing them very frequently. And these are kind of garbage, so... Okay, the hardest hallway fight in the game. Shelled Parasite and Fungi Beast. When you kill the Fungi Beast, the Shelled Parasite hits you for more because you become vulnerable. And uh, this guy makes you frail, so you don't gain much block. And he has 14 plated armor. So yeah, that's this fight. These potions could be used right now, actually. I think we should use this one. Um... This guy's buffing, we should probably kill him, I don't know. Or should we, we can... Yeah, so now it's gonna save us life to kill that guy. Which we should absolutely do. Two more block if we shrug it off and defend at the cost of six damage. Probably worth it. We can weaken him, but we are vulnerable and frail. Man, this sucks. No point in gaining block. We're no longer frail, but he's gonna make us frail once more. Cause he is very mean. Uh, double tap. Uh, this is not dealing that much. Eighteen times two is thirty-six. Yeah. What if we flex potioned? Well, if we flex potioned, it would be 17 plus 8 is 25, it would be 50. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, this is fine. Let's try to kill his feed. Which 
seems realistic. Uh, that's not killing him, so we can do it, but... Well, that's fine. Or is it fine? Ah, oh, it's not lethal. Oops! So now we take three damage. He's gonna die to the thorns, that's the problem. I think I misplayed this terribly. Alright. Just barely got it in, but we did! 4 max HP is nothing to scoff at. We don't need any of this. We just don't. We really just don't. Kunai! Every time you play three attacks a single turn, you gain one dexterity. We're assembling the Holy Trinity. Now we just need the Shuriken for the for the triple whammy. How good is Kunai? Um, I don't know. It's worth thinking about though on our turn. See if we can get some occasional procs in. Yeah, we can probably fight an elite given that we have our potions. We have some HP. It's not comfortable. But I think it's worth it. Yo, hecko, Mr. Snecko. We are confused, but our Snecko blessed us with cheap cards. Thank you, Mr. Snecko. Your service has been noted. More cheap cards. I love cheap cards. Feed? Oh, no feed. Uh, we can wait. I think we can wait. Can we wait? We are vulnerable. Fortunately, Uppercut is costing us quite a large amount here. Um, weakened him would bring it down by 4, so it would be 11. Uh, which is more than... No, it's not. Yeah, we take 5. We take 5. But taking 5 is not bad. Eighteen over twenty three. Okay. Taking five is acceptable to go for a feed, which would heal you four immediately anyway. Yum yum plus four max HP. Not bad at all. An uppercut plus to go with our other uppercut plus. Is two uppercut pluses too many? We do have a double tap. Hmm. I mean, uppercut plus is a good card. If we take it, then we can even remove the bash.
What do you think, chat? Second uppercut plus or nah? Maybe it's all right. Too weak and too vulnerable. Having consistent sources of weakness is good. Having consistent sources of vulnerable is good. What about this drop kick? What about drop kick infinite? Anyone down for some dropkick infinites? We get some exhausting. Actually, though. What if we exhausted down to dropkick infinite? We already have kunai and... Uh, ornamental fan. Okay, yeah, drop cake is actually good, right? Hey, Serenades. Welcome. I have a ironclad run going on. We have a fusion hammer from Beating Guardian. And um, we have a pretty small deck. We already removed all of our strikes. And we have feed, and we've been feeding, and it's been good. Um, we are doing a lot of damage with our rampage, plus, and double tap. It's like a combo. And I was just thinking about this uppercut plus for a lot, because I was thinking, you know, it's a good card, right? And we already have one, which makes it slightly less good. Then I started thinking about drop kick. Now that we have kunai, dropkick is an attack which can increment the counter. And also, if we have some kind of exhaust synergy, there's still some possibility for exhausting to dropkick infinite. You can go uh, double tap dropkick and then draw the double tap and the dropkick back. I hope your act two boss is automaton because that's who I'm playing as right now. Cool. Nah, my Act 2 boss will be Collector. Double Trap Jock Kick is interesting though. I'm gonna try it out. Alright. Well, we Hemokinesis on this guy, I guess. Okay, we got a kunai proc in there. Uh, we should weaken this guy if he's gonna attack us next turn. Hmm. I'm scared, actually. I don't know how we're gonna do against this fight. Probably just kill this guy, huh? It only takes one energy to kill him next turn. Okay. And the weakness is gonna save us more than one energy. Get this thing out of our deck. Or we could deal seven. No. with these nasties. Oh, he's buffing. That's interesting. Alright, Rampage is dealing 8. Hmm. 
Hmm. These things are gonna be so annoying. They're gonna make us weak and frail. What do we do about that? And he's not gonna be weakened next turn. Why couldn't he have just summoned the sneaky ones that would like die to feed or whatever? We, we could rampage feed on one of them. Yeah, I guess so. Get our kunai proc in too. Now we're frail. He buffed again and now he's hitting us from 48. He is not weakened, friends. And this stupid fricker is hitting us for 10 and making us again weakened and frail later, too. Frickin' fricker. Down to five. We do have fairy in a bottle. I would love to save the fairy in a bottle, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. Double tap drop kick is actually kind of a combo. didn't kill that. No, 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 no. I thought I had one more energy. Oh, I threw so hard. I was going to hemokinesis that guy. Counting. Counting. Well... We're not dead yet, but we are weakened again, and it's looking really, really bad. Okay, we should go for the kill on this guy. Like, we gotta get out of here ASAP. Um, we can armaments for double tapping purposes. could shrug but I think we're okay here. No, 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 we should shrug. Yeah, we should. Okay. Poor fairy bottle. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, that was, that was terribly well, that was, that was, yeah. Terrible plays. Body slam plus. I don't think so. It's not that it's that bad. Okay, let's think about it a little more. We have Kunai. It is a zero energy attack. We have Flame Barrier, Shrug It Off, Armaments, Iron Wave. We've added some block cards into our deck. We've removed all of our strikes.
Yeah, it might honestly be good. Get that kunai proc in. Sure. Let's try it. Rest, because we have fusion hammer, and then we fight an elite. And it is the one we hadn't fought yet. The Book of Stabby Stab. Fortunately, we got Dropkick before we can fight Vulnerable. Oh. This fight could also be really nasty. Luckily, we have 70 HP. go ham on the aggro and use oracalcum to block a little bit we'll be vulnerable for a while which would be really useful we can energy potion yeah that's energy potion the vulnerable here. Nothing but cats. Welcome. Got an ironclad run going here. Fortunately, I just played really bad versus Gremlin Leader, so we lost our fairy in a bottle. But, um... We have Fusion Hammer from Beating Guardian. We have Kunai now. And, um, we have a pretty small deck. We already removed all of the strikes. And we've been doing damage with Rampage. And double tap. And then we recently added drop kick and body slam. And we got feed. Um... How'd you remove strikes so fast? So I removed two of them from Nyao uh, at the cost of some of our max HP. Then I removed one of them with the, from the Cleric. I removed one of them from Spin the Wheel because I got remove a card, which was very lucky. Um, I removed one of them at the shop. That's the story. Yeah, Body Slam was pretty good there, huh? Yeah, I guess Body Slam is just a good card. Okay, 35 damage, friends. Um. Double tap uppercut is dealing how much? 20? 40? And what if we flex potion? 18? 27? 54? And then this will deal the rest. I'm pretty sure this works. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be upset. Nice. We're not playing hemokinesis. What? When did I not play hemokinesis? What did I do? Yeah, I, I believe you that I messed up, I just don't know where. Uh, 
On the energy pot turn, you play defend. Hmm. Don't remember. Whenever we obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. Well, I do think we wouldn't be obtaining any curses. Kind of a garbage relic. Don't need clothesline. Intimidate, not really. Inflame, not really. Okay. Triple birds. Why no inflame? Because inflame does better when you're playing a lot of attacks each turn. So the strength can add up, but I feel like we're mostly doing a couple big attacks like uppercut, rampage, and body slam. Increasing these by two damage is not that much damage compared with how much our attacks are doing anyway. So I don't think it's worth a card. I mean, I could be wrong. We could transition to a deck that plays more attacks for like Kunai and Ornamental Fan. If I had Anger, for example, then Inflame would be very good. Well, this fight's gonna be painful, but guess what? We have 73 life. We have an Eternal Feather. We cannot even upgrade at the the rest site before the boss anyway. So we're gonna heal for a lot. We have the life to spare. Play this first in case I get double tap. Eh. Okay, that's dealing 12 and that's dealing 15. So we should play one defend. Oh, you got a clip of it. Oh, was the Hemokinesis the card I drew with the uh, Shrug it off? If so, that would probably explain why I didn't see it. I didn't even look to see what I drew. Okay, so double tap and hemokinesis is an option here. Can shoot one of these guys down. Unfortunately, it only deals 48. Oh no, but we can armaments first and then we'll get both the double taps in. Or we can... Uh, I should have thought a little bit before I did stuff, but it's too late now. Oh, we almost full blocked anyway because of uh, the ornamental fan. I covered the Hemo. Yeah, I'm not sure if I was really thinking straight. Uh, I think even using the energy potion to begin with was quite questionable. But guess what? I saved so much life 
but I can take the ruby key here. Ah, uh, shockwave! Yeah, I guess shockwave is fine, huh? It gives us another way to activate drop kick, and double tap drop kick is fun. Okay, let's not do anything too hasty in this fight. Um, it's gonna be tough for sure. So at some point we can busting of the forge. Probably makes sense to do it earlier in the fight because armaments will start upgrading our stuff anyway. Evolve does nothing this fight, but at least we get out of our deck if we play it now. How good is upgrading? Shrug and defend? Not that good. Alright, double tap and uppercut is 100% better than getting the evolve out of our deck, so... Let's just do that. Why would you... Would you play Blessing now with Ascender's Bane, though? Yeah, it only upgrades two cards. Well, I guess it technically upgrades three cards right now, but the upgrades aren't doing anything on this turn, and I'd rather use it on a turn where the upgrades are helping us on that turn, not just later. Alright, so we're getting a hit for 14 plus 15 is 29. Um, can gain some block. Definitely gonna want the hemokinesis on the little guys, I think. We're not gonna race the big guy while these little guys are still awake around. Yeah, so here's a great example of when it probably just makes sense to use the Blessing of the Forge. Um, we can gain, gain some block and hemokinesis or something. Shockwave. Then it exhausts, so we don't even have to draw it again. And then we defend Iron Wave Body Slam, I guess. And if we gain 10 block here, that will be plenty. So we attack this guy with the Iron Wave and send the Body Slam this way. We get hit with the mega debuff. Um, double tap and rampage is super good together. We can also double tap the drop kick as well. Actually, gaining energy over here. Got our kunai prop. And now we are weakened, vulnerable, and frail for five turns. On the bright side, we're at 80 HP. So we'll probably win this fight. now hitting us for 34 has 23 block yeah we're not getting through that block right now are we um yeah uppercut over defend here 
Oh. Maybe just defend. Let's see. The extra two turns of weakness must be relevant. It's probably more than four life. And the beatdown commences. Well, we can drop kick. Upgrade our feed. Could just play the feed here for the extra dexterity. And we wouldn't have to keep drawing it over and over. But I want to get, take some solace in this fight. Like, we have so much HP. If we had all that HP and still didn't feed, that'd be sad. Sweet Kun Kun, welcome. Here. We uh we have a nice ironclad run here. We have uh Fusion Hammer from Baiting Guardian, we have a Kunai now, we have Eternal Feather, we've removed most of our strikes, in fact all of them. We steal some damage with Rampage. Uh we've been feeding on stuff. We have double tap, jaw kick, and body slam. And I'm trying to greet out this speed. Although I may regret it. Gain some block. We can get a kunai proc in and then defend. And he's hitting us once more and we're still vulnerable. he's not resummoning more enemies one small good thing for us man we're not even gonna be able to kill with the feed why is he still attacking for 41 20 block, 30, 29 and 8 is 37. Okay, we can kill it. We can stop. The dream is still alive. Let's just say. The dream is still alive. What? The dream is not still alive. No! What happened? I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at my phone. Have you checked out Carlotta's Ferrari's prolific weird music on... I have no clue what that means. I'm guessing the bronze scales that we purchased from the shop betrayed us. How could it do that? Oh my, Reaper, Impervious, or Juggernaut? Well, we don't have strength scaling, so Reaper is kind of not that good. Is this a time for Juggernaut? I mean, Impervious is good with Body Slam. Impervious would also be great if we got a Barricade. Impervious is good. I don't really see how our deck 
is winning against hard fights. Our deck seems really, really bad to me right now. Hmm. I don't know, maybe collector is just hard. Hey Jeannie, did you know your name shows up as poopy face on my screen? Hey Julian, did you know that all your messages just say woof 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 woof? No, I did not know that. Can you send me a screenshot? I don't know what you're saying, but I bet it's not important. <laughs> Never ceases to be entertaining. Thank you for uh, this entertainment during this dark time. Yeah, I mean, Juggernaut is some damage, but uh, I think we want the Impervious here. By the way, only 2,000 points until I can get a one-hour coaching session. I can't wait to coach you in League of Legends and force you to come back. Okay, bud. What do you guys think? Impervious or, or Juggernaut? Is Juggernaut going to try to be our win condition or are we going to find something else better? Because Rampage is a little bit questionable of a win condition. Impervious is really strong. I think we'll be okay. I am not desperate enough for scaling that I will take the Juggernaut when Impervious is an option. Alright. We can transform four defense. We can no longer discard our hand. That means that we can have a much, much easier time of going for Dropkick Infinite. We're not really close though, are we? But we can get closer. Can transform three cards and upgrade them. This is like strictly better than Pandora's box, right? But how good is the pyramid? It's good with feed, it's good with armaments, good with impervious, good with drop kick. I like it can be a combo deck or try try somehow. Pervious Body Slam is a combo. I actually like this Runic Pyramid. What do you think? Versus transforming three defense and upgrading them. Yeah, Pyramid's pyramid way better than that. Alright, we have to path our way to the spicy elite. Um, resting is going to be a massive heal because we have eternal feather and we have nothing else to do besides rest. So you can consider this event as like heal like 35-ish. Yeah, we can decide later. All 
Alright, shockwave is good. And we can block with this with our Calcum, we don't need to do anything weird. Or we could defend double tap body slam. Or we could just impervious body slam. Maybe that's better. Can we deal 45? Yeah, it's actually probably better. Saves us a little bit of life and deals us quite a bit of damage. Which will be useful. Oh wait, I have Runic Pyramid. I completely was not even thinking about that a little bit. Okay, have Runic Pyramid. I need to completely start thinking differently about every single card that I play. Yeah, so I made a huge mistake because Impervious would be insane right now. Hmm. Double Track Drop Kick is uh, it's a possibility. Which guy would we target? I guess the guy that doesn't have block. Unless we want to kill this guy so we don't take nine. Which is probably worth considering. Ooh, flame barrier. I'll die to the thorns and the fire or whatever. Try to go for the feed since we have the pyramid anyway. Hmm. That guy's at 31 currently. This guy's gonna revive. There's no way we have lethal, right? Do double tap, feed, oh wait, we do armaments, double tap, hemokinesis on uh, that guy, and then feed on this guy. Wait, no, that is lethal. Four max HP, beautiful. All right, a skill potion and some garbage. Summer Soul exhaust non-attack cards. I mean, we do really want exhausting now, but. We don't want to exhaust our impervious. 
Don't want to exhaust our flame barrier. Well. Exhausting our defense is kind of okay. Well, it seems, it seems bad. Time for the garbage song. What's the garbage song? A gremlin is madly shuffling cards on a table. This monster seems to be a harmless one. You approach him out of curiosity. Twelve cards. Match them to keep them. Five tries. No do-overs. You ready? Let's start. Bash and Rive. Do not want either of those. <gasps> Impervious! Let's go! Oh, we didn't get the impervious. Oh, well, gotta raise my hopes and then dash them. Shop is probably good for us, right? Are we okay with elite? Question mark, spicy elite. How are we doing versus Reptomancer? Well, we're doing okay versus Reptomancer. How are we doing versus Giant Head? Uh, that is questionable. That is really questionable. Are we just dead to giant head? How in the heck are we ever gonna beat anything? I mean, it's not that bad, cause we have a couple big attacks. This path or this path? Are events good? I don't even know what events give us. Like, card rewards are good. What are we looking for? Barricade? Maybe? Except, like, not even really. I don't know. Yeah, let's fight the elite. Elite will give us a higher chance of like some useful card probably. I forgot. I shouldn't have played Rampage. I have Runic Pyramid. Why do I always forget I have Runic Pyramid? Gosh. 13 and uh, 15 is 28. I can get an upgraded feed, honestly. Eh. It's like one max HP. Sure.
Maybe this runic pyramid is just so different. I'm not used to it. And now we're just gonna wait for armaments so that we can upgrade our feed. And then that's dealing 18. Alright, nice. Colorless potion, bloodletting plus is... Is that ever a thing that does anything? It allows us to go for combos, right? Because you save your cards, then you have more energy when you want to play them all. Which means you could do like a really big body slam, because you saved your energy for impervious, flame barrier, random stuff, bloodletting. I'm just not, a, I'm just really not experienced enough with Runic Pyramid to know what I should be going for. Like, I'm sure there's tons of stuff that is really good to go for, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so we are looking for some kind of exhaust stuff, that's for sure. And bloodletting... I don't know about bloodletting. I really don't. can try it. Can you provide me an example of what I could do with George's reward? So that's... Yeah, you can claim it and then you can rename it to say nothing but cat's reward. You can rename it to say dank memes reward. You can rename it to say Pretty much whatever. I think there should be a character limit though. Yes, it doesn't do anything. It's a... Uh, it's a way to end... It's a way to make your mark on the stream. But... That's it. It's, it's like a... Uh, it's kind of similar to like... Like maybe I should just replace it with this instead. Is like... You know, you get to put a little blob in the... You get to edit uh, one of the panels in the... Maybe I should make a reward that makes you get to edit one of the panels below the stream, so... It's, it's kind of like that, basically. You get to edit a thing somewhere that's on the stream. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say something about this bloodletting. I just have no idea whether it's good, but I wanna see if it's good. Because instead of the Spire, if you don't know whether something is good, but you never try it, then you'll never know. But on the off chance that you... that it turns out to be good, you will be happy that you experimented. I don't know how I'm going to use it yet, I just think that it could be useful. No, I mentioned that... You cannot redeem it to, to say on the stream because that misleads other people as to what the point of it is. It's like... 
It's like naming some dis like naming some scientific discovery after you. Like you wouldn't name your scientific discovery to be uh to be like 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 say say you prove something in math, right? And you're gonna name it's gonna theorem. Like you could say George's theorem or like spawn theorem. But you wouldn't say incorrect theorem. Like that's just not a name that you would name it. Like it's just confusing and weird. So I say I have said no to to renaming it to end the stream. Yeah, you can you can name it to Hanayo is the best if you want. I have no clue what I'm doing in this fight. Just not, just not the faintest idea. Everything is lagging? Oh no. We have dropped uh, 4,000 frames. Time for the Wi Fi cable. Yo, get over here. Why is the Wi-Fi crappy? Dropping frames? Okay. Okay, let me know if it's better now. If it's not better, that will be unfortunate, but so be it. I just don't know what combos I should be going for. Should I be going for something with impervious and body slam or something? Not you. Alright, well, at least let me know if it's getting better. Okay, so we do want to make sure we have enough energy to play another attack afterwards in case he wants to give us a curse. Um, so...
It's pretty good, bad. No, we uppercut, uppercut. Uppercut, then body slam, then he moves. Yeah. Alright, and now we're not getting a curse, so it's all good. Except he's still at 67 and kind of far away from being dead. Uh, now he wants to hit us for 42. Okay, 18 is not so bad. Okay, this is 13, this is 13. We thought it was bloodletting, I guess. Thirteen. Twenty-four. Ooh, it's not. Whatever, yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Plus four max HP. You betcha. Yeah, these are nope. Meal ticket. Thanks and ooh, exhausting. Exhausting. Ooh, Prismatic Shard. Combat reward screens now contain colorless cards and cards from other colors. Are we going to find our win condition from cards of a different color? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the True Grit is on sale, so yeah, why not? But I don't want any of that. Blood Potion is a Humongo heal. Um, do we need Humongo heals? Hmm. What if we went to the other shop and hoped that that one has better relics for us? Yeah, I don't know about this prismatic shard. Like, seems pretty bad. Iron clad cards are good, right? Definitely not these. Card remove a... We don't need to card remove quite as much. Well, then we'll clog our hand. Defend clogging our hand. Icy Kun Kun, thanks for watching. I'm really struggling to figure out what I want to do with this deck. 
I just feel I don't have I don't have a plan, you know? I don't know what I want to do with my runic pyramid really. I, f I feel like I should be finding some awesome combos and then just waiting till I have them all and playing them, but I just don't know what I want to go for yet. And I think Dropkick Infinite is pretty much out of the question at this point because we have too many cards. I put a lot of cards in our deck. Well, we actually we have True Grit now. We do have True Grit now. I forgot that. Yeah. Okay, maybe we should card remove then. Let's quit screen, screen card remove and look for better relics at a shop. Look for better cards at a shop too. We, we could save our gold. We honestly could. And then 57 gold for 20 HP. Uh, nah, we'll get potions. Yeah, I want to find stuff at the other shop. This shop is just... It's not, not giving me the good vibes. Oh boy, it's Reptomancer. Ugh. I don't want to fight Reptomancer right now. We just potion because maybe I'll get something. What can we seek a weapon for? Like body slam? Chemo? Let's get something OP off this. Well, that's not exactly OP, is it? But it's something. Take 99 damage versus Reptomancer. Is that even possible? Actually, that guy, oh no, that guy will be dead next turn, because he takes, takes three from the thorns and fourteen from the combust. So we just game block here, and uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, 
Albo ten. Can double tap him on. Can save the double tap for uh, body slam. Okay, so Impervious Double Tap Body Slam is at least like 90 damage, right? I'm gonna believe that we can go for it. Could be a bad idea. Oh, bloodletting, perfect. Um, yeah, so I mean, we don't need it, right? Can we feed? We can now dig for relics at rest sites. Guess what? We can't do anything useful at rest sites. We already have the ruby key. We already cannot upgrade. We can only rest. But now we can dig. Another drop kick seems fine. Yeah, we have pyramid. It's like fine. And another true grit is very interesting. Um, I like this with the kunai. I really do. is so bad before it's upgraded because we don't want to be exhausting our cards with pyramid we want to yeah. i have no clue what this i really don't know what this trugit is doing <laughs> like in theory it's good right but i don't know how that's gonna work out i just don't that's fine though. The valve is good because of this thing. Just trigger it. Not sure what the worst outcome is here. Bye bye, drop kick. That's fine, whatever.
This guy's attacking us for 30, so... Probably kill him. Because, you know... Reasons. Yeah, so I try to feed at some point. I don't really know how, but probably is doable. Two damage. So fine. Eh, I guess not taking two damage is even more fine. Got the feed upgraded now. This is fine. Yep. Combust plus. Uh, what's our boss? Time meter. Don't need combust plus first time meter. Giant head with an extra 130 max HP. So it's gonna be really important to play our cards at the appropriate time here. Like, I don't know if we want to armaments just yet. We could though. Get an extra turn of vulnerable. Yeah, so what's the plan? I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. We can go for kunai prox. What's the best thing to double tap? I don't know. I think body slam is generally going to be good, but... I didn't even make use of the card draw because my hand is full. Hmm. Well, I don't have 
body slam right now, do we? Maybe we can get something good with the skill potion. See what's in here. Oh, hmm. We don't have double tap though. I'd much rather do the block thing when we can double tap. Can we still wait? No, because we already did the thing. Okay. Let's just draw a double tap. Dang. It's just nowhere near enough damage. Mm. Might as well just wait. I don't know. There's no point in giving the feed around here. Yeah, we wasted a lot of stuff. Okay, now we better just do it, because we have all the things that we were waiting for. Not bad. Okay, kunai proc, thingamajig. It's rough. I don't know what to do. All that ring is good card. I'm glad we put it in our deck though. Thank you. 
Unceasing top. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. Huh. That is never going to trigger. In flame plus. Yeah, I just don't think so. Dig, dig, dig. Bag of pet. Hmm. Now we want to go to the shop. We only, probably only need one shop. Whoa, hog chill. You stumble across something that feels very out of place. Before you, an enormous stony head emerges from a large wall segment that does not shift and change like the rest of this area. The head's mouth is wide open, and it reveals large intimidating teeth, stained red with blood. The surface of the statue is riddled with pictographs that seem to indicate people throwing themselves into the mouth of this head and being devoured. Why would anyone do that? We can jump inside and heal the fall at the cost of 20 max HP. Or we can exchange our golden idol for 333 gold. You jump back a little as the gigantic molars smash down on the idol, smashing it into dust. As the teeth start to rise up again, gold pours forth in a torrent from the opening, flooding you with riches. Sure. Heal the foe and become cursed with doubt. Um, hmm. It's a heal for 60. Uh, we have a heal for 12 with internal feather. Yeah, that's worth it. Is that better than a rare relic? Oh, uh, so the fight might heal us for 6. Might heal us for even more if we feed. Then we don't have to remove a curse. Time meter is okay. It's just the other one I'm more worried about. Wonder where really could be really good. We get a card reward as well. Card reward could be good. Yeah, I guess we fight. Destroy, destroy.
the flame barrier next turn. For now, just relax a little bit. Oh, oops. Uh, yeah. Whatever. I'm trying to make sure we're coming with feed. Should exhaust the hemo. Speed is doing 18. And we still have a double tap, so this is completely fine. Okay, we're up to 62, which is, I think, seven more than we started that fight with. Got a stone calendar, got a strength potion, an emulate, which we don't really want, and an intimidate, which is. I don't know. Maybe not that great. for Intimidate Plus. Yeah, I guess there is. So the idea is just, uh, we have plenty of card draw because we have Runic Pyramid, so having a way to mitigate damage for zero energy is not so bad. We have two sources of weakness already. We have an uppercut plus and a shockwave. Hey, Sleekbird Priestess. Welcome. Well fed Darth Calculus Ironclad. <laughs> Congrats on passing your exam. Thanks. I have not dropped out yet. We'll see how long I keep it up for though. Yeah, so we have a lot of HP. Um, we do have a kunai. And we have a runic pyramid. And we have double tap and body slam. And we have some drop kicks. But generally, 
I don't really know what I'm doing. And this deck doesn't have a lot of scaling. I don't really know what combos to be going for with the Runic Pyramid either. But... Yeah, I mean, Intimidate Plus just seems kind of good enough. We also have Bag of Prep for even more card draw now, so... I think this is just fine. Art of War, if you do not play any attacks, gain an additional mana next turn. Well, we are free to play alternate turns of playing attacks, because we can save them in our hand for later. Abacus. It's a way to gain block from the heart if you end up going for the dropkick combo. We have one true grit and a runic pyramid. Every. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have the gold for it too, so might as well. Power through is questionable because. The wounds do not discard, and they will clog our hand. I guess we can take an abacus. Our deck is small. We removed all our strikes. Snickle oil. Does this randomize it for the rest of the fight? So if we snack our oil and... Oof. I definitely don't want card draw or weak potion. Probably just gonna remove something. Like, uh. Defend. Defend's pretty bad. Sneko oil randomization persists for the rest of the fight. Maybe we can high roll with that. Well, if drop kicks cost zero for the rest of the fight, hmm. I guess our deck is just not small enough at the moment to really be setting up the infinite combo. Havoc. Nah. Letter opener is not really what we want. I mean, it's snack like oil worth 113 gold. We have one more shot at the next act. Not sure. Yeah, I've been playing exceedingly slowly this run. Um, maybe even my slowest yet. I'm on a three game win streak with Ironclad and so if I win then it would be my new my new personal best win streak wise because I would get up to four in a row but I'm not really seeing it yet I'm not seeing it yet and I don't think Snackle Whale is going to be solving all of our problems here we don't discard it, so if we get a bunch of expensive stuff, it's kind of a rip. We're free to drop quick whenever for kunai procs. 
We can do it now. Let's get the bash in. Shockwave. Yeah, usually we go for like a double tap body slam type of clown. Um, but we are going to be frail and weakened for a long time, which interferes with that significantly. This is 22 damage. It's better than zero damage. So, yeah, we're not going for a kunai proc this turn. I think we just exhaust the uh, true great here. I mean the um, iron wave. What? What did I just exhaust? Oops! That was not upgraded yet. Armaments was not upgrading it. Rip double tap! Making sure we get body slam each shuffle, which means I should body slam right now. Yeah. Might as well bloodletting. Eh. Okay, yeah, sure. We'll be okay for a while anyway because we still have impervious at some point. And guess what? The buff's running out. The buff is running out. The debuff. Can we kill the feed somehow? <gasps> There's a body slam. Looking quite good. Um, yum yum. Ooh, burning packed. Burning packed, my friends. Do we want to be exhausting our cards? This just seems kind of good. Tungsten rod! Whenever you would lose HP, lose one less. 
Against the heart, the corrupt heart of the spire, it has beat of death, and when we play our cards, we take two damage. But with Tungsten Rod, we will only be taking one damage, which is value. Okay, so Evolve is a card that we should get out of our hand. I think the biggest question is going to be like the armaments timing to make sure we get good upgrades in. And there's the tip for 48. So right now we're upgrading the trigger and the double tap, which I think are the most important hits, so I'm fine with this. Double tap this upper cut if we want. Let's double tap this iron wave. For five extra life at the cost of two weak. Yeah, that's good. like I knew that sequence was gonna put it exactly at 12 that makes me look smart but in reality I got lucky and completely forgot about it until I played the last card okay so we want to start exhausting our stuff We need rampage. Is it even worth to play the rampage? Yeah, maybe. Could be. Cost us a draw if we draw it again. But it's fine. I should have just. I should feed for a Kunai Proc at some point. Okay, I need to be thinking about that. Okay, I'm, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking. What are the stuff we need to be thinking about right now? We need to be thinking about getting Kunai Procs, which means saving our drop kicks until it's like guaranteed. Right? Exhausting with True Grit this turn. Maybe we just impervious. Save ourselves 11. No, that can't be right. That actually just can't be right. Get 
rid of the blood bunny. Or the feed. Nah. We don't need blood bunny. So we're getting a Kunai Park, right? Yeah. Page deals some amount. Now we can kind of impervious, but wait, no, he's gonna heal. Okay, we don't want to actually impervious quite yet. I guess we do deal damage. Good luck with the rest of the run. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Yes, for 17 just seems like a waste. Just take 17, man. Okay, so we take what? Uh, 18, 24, no, 8 and 16 is 24, and we're at 14. So we take 10. 10 is kind of a lot. And we can probably take less, so sure. And page plus, guess we don't need it.
I think we can actually exhaust down to something, maybe. I believe. This is a chill fight. They don't do anything too aggressive. We have kunai. And we have exhausting. And we have dropkick. to work here. Get to work. Exhaust the garbage. Ah, oh, we can't do any more exhausting. Dang. That was so fun while it lasted. This is so fun! It's coming together, friends. I almost exhausted Uppercut, and then we wouldn't have a source of Vulnerable after he shifts. Now that would have been bad. keyboard here, make things a little quicker.
Okay. Thump, thump, thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire? The source of this evil? You ready your blade? Attack. You deal 2,055 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds. It is ultimately still pounding. Are your mightiest attacks not enough? You ask yourself, have I been here before? The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness begins to fade. A sudden burst of energy emanates from inside you, jolting you awake. The heart retreats upwards. A large door is revealed in its place. Bottle tornado. Um, evolve, evolve. Bottling evolve is so good. Wow. That is actually so good. Feel no pain whenever a card is exhausted. Gain three block. We plan on doing some exhausting. One, two, three. Four, five, six, sort of. Hmm. This arm is so good versus the heart. Shockwave, I don't think we need. We already have three sources of weak. What secret technique? Uh, don't know. Yeah, these relics are kind of garbage. Oh wait, this one though. This is not garbage. This is actually good. Okay, so we buy this, and then we buy this, right? Dexterity potions versus the heart? Oh my. Gamblers, yeah, we don't need strength. We just don't need strength. That was good. That was actually good. It's either Defender Bash, I'm just not sure which. Bash allows drop kick easier. But we already do have Uppercut and uh, Shockwave. Yeah. Get rid of a Defend. Oh, Rampage. Wait. Rampage is so bad. Yeah, let's get rid of Rampage. What about our last measles of gold? Pain. I don't even think feel more pain is that good. It's not bad. 
Yeah, I guess that's good. Evolve always gets played here. Could just impervious. Should have done this earlier, but I guess we do it. Ooh, body slow. Uh, I think we save ourselves two life if we go this way. No, we don't. What? I swear we would. the vulnerable to get cancelled. Um yeah. This is rough. Should have saved the burning pack to exhaust the burn, probably. And I take 24? Yeah, I guess I could have considered gamblers thing. Didn't take quite 24, but took 20. This stuff upgraded. Now we're going to get more burns. Oh, but we have bloodletting, which is good here. Attack us for a huge amount next turn, and we're gonna be really sad. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. My 
hand is full. I forgot uh, I had Evolve. I could have taken less. Hmm. Should have saved Bloodletting for this turn. Gamblers. What am I even doing in this fight? Not much. Yeah, that's good. is 38, 46. We're all set. Although we should defend anyway for the body slam damage. Alright. with feed an option in this fight. Oh, there's feed. So it probably is. My hand is full. Oh, right. That is how that works usually. Stone calendar coming in for for the not doing much. We have a body slam. It's good to use. It's currently going at 36, we can double tap it. And feed is just one damage off lethal. Awkward. Except not really, because now it's exact. <gasps> Mingo! 14 max HP! Solid. Duplication potion. This next turn? Your this turn your next card is played twice. 
So we could duplicate our femoral pain, for example. Impervious would be good, probably. Disarm, even. No thanks. It's the final boss, friends! We made it here! Let's drink dexterity potions. Let's not forget it that we have a tungsten rod. Let's not forget that we have... Kunai. Let's drink this. <gasps> Barricade! Oh my gosh. Which means we want to take as much beat of death damage as possible because it deals one damage when we don't have block. So for example, this gets played first. And then this gets played. And then we defend, probably. Let me save these cards. Right. Wound is just chilling here until we get the true grid upgraded. I guess we might as well just. No, I don't want to impervious when we're frail, though, that's the thing. Hey, it really is hitting us for 50, huh? Okay, so how do we make hand space without playing too much of our block cards, huh? Get feet out of here. Double tap wants to be saved, honestly. Yeah. Just impervious body slam. Maybe that's fine. Yeah, and then we can even we can even get our kunai back if we do it properly, right? Because Bloodletting. Uppercut. Thief. Yeah. So we could disarm now. But it removes the strength debuff when it does the buff, so if we want a duplication to disarm it, we could do that afterward. No, we should disarm now. I should have just duplication potions that impervious. Bad, bad.
Hmm. Maybe we just tungsten rod this actually. It's only a attack for 15. Exhausting stuff. Hmm. I guess we just disarm. Yeah. This is completely fine. Oh, it got negated! I'm a fool. Let's just do this flame barrier thing then.
Maybe I'll just extend the fight. Very close fight. <laughs> Dude, that barricade was good, wasn't it? You know? This deck is pretty good when you add a barricade to it. I might... I might... I might suppose. I always underestimate how good potions are. The cauldron came in clutch, man. That cauldron. Three hours and 27 minutes. Hey, bus error. GG, well done. Thank you. I'm actually really, I'm really proud of myself for this run. It's, I've never, this is my... Yeah, so I'm on a four game win streak with Ironclad now, which is my new record. And I was really worried about this run for a long time. I, I was very skeptical and, you know, I took my time, made some mistakes, but generally I think I did pretty well. And we got the win. It feels good. It was good. C -c -c Combo. I wonder how many how many cards we played in that one turn we killed the awakened one with dropkick combo. And we also overkill. Yeah. Sometimes we did one card that did a lot. Som sometimes we did a bunch of cards that did a little. The Abacus was good versus the heart too. Dang Abacus. Cauldron. Sh shop relics coming through. What other shop relics did we get? We got the, uh, I guess that was it. That was fun. It was stressful though. Especially that, uh, that fight versus Gremlin Leader. I wasn't sure if I was just gonna die. Double tap, feed. Got good value out of feed. Bloodletting plus was surprisingly good, I'd say. Burning Pact, surprisingly good, I would say. Like in a Runic Pyramid deck. Vukinesis was good early. Bear, uh, Rampage was also good early, but then we removed Rampage. Because <laughs> it just wasn't good. Uh, yeah. Wow. Always finding new ways to win. Never had a deck quite like this at all. Kunai was... Kunai was kind of pog champ, actually. Once we got Kunai, I started taking the drop kicks, and then I think... That was that was strong. Ironclad, lots of max HP, big tanking. Yep, four game win streak. And honestly, this was a one, this would have, this should have been a win too, except for the fact that I threw. I literally threw the heart fight because I played, I played Reaper. 
uh, when he was invincible. So it didn't heal me. And this was like, this was a limit break deck, so it would have been like a 50 heal or something. I just missed out on 50 HP. Uh, and so I died. Because, yeah, I needed to play Reaper but earlier in the turn before he became uh, an invincible. But yeah, thank you all for watching. It was great. Um, I do stream every day except for Thursday at 3 p.m. EST. So watch out for that. Um, I hope everything is going well in your life too. Um, for me, a new semester starting up. And I hope the Spire has been treating you well. I hope that... Uh, you get all of the what's what's your favorite event Let's see my favorite event is the apparitions i wish you a lot of apparitions and yeah i'll see you tomorrow and thanks for the follow bus error uh i appreciate that a lot it means a lot to me good night